from grand landscapes where bears outnumber humans to mountain peaks that rise nearly 6,000 feet above the next highest mountain in the U.S., Alaska is a land of superlatives. And with more than half of the country's national park lands by area, there's plenty of wild, pristine landscapes to choose from. Here's a rundown on Alaska's eight national parks. Denali National Park and Preserve in our collective consciousness, Alaska represents the concept of the raw wilderness. But that untamed perception can be as much a deterrent as a draw. For many travelers, in-depth exploration of this American frontier is a daunting task. Enter Denali National Park and Preserve, a parcel of land both primeval and easily accessible. Here, you can peer at a grizzly bear, moose, caribou, or even wolves, all from the comfort of a bus. On the other hand, if independent exploration is your thing, you can trek into 6 million acres of tundra, boreal forest and ice-capped mountains, a space larger than Massachusetts. This all lies in the shadow of Denali, once known as Mount McKinley and to indigenous Athabascans as the Great One. Denali, at 20,308 feet, 6,190 meters, is North America's highest peak, rightly celebrated as an icon of all that is awesome and wild in a state where those adjectives are ubiquitous. Katmai National Park and Preserve Sure, Katmai National Park and Preserve encompasses 4 million acres of rippling coastline, volcanic landscapes and mountain-fringed lakes, but the brown bears are the real draw. A population of around 2,200 brown bears, that's more than the human population of the entire Alaska Peninsula, lives out its days in the park largely undisturbed. Popular spots like Brooks Falls are the surest place to spot them, but the backcountry is prime territory for wild encounters. The park is also the location of the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, the site of a 1912 volcanic eruption, which is now replete with extinct fumaroles, steam or gas vents in the earth, barren lava flows and narrow gorges. Wrangell Street Elias National Park imagine an area the size of Switzerland. Now strip away its road network, eradicate its towns and cities and take away all but 40 of its 8 million people. The result would be something approximating Wrangell Street Elias National Park. Comprising 20,625 square miles of brawny ice-encrusted mountains, Wrangell Street Elias is the second largest national park in the world after Northeast Greenland, meaning there's plenty of room for its 45,000 or so annual visitors to get lost, very, very lost. The park's vital statistics are mind-boggling. One more time, this park is big. If Wrangell Street Elias were a country it would be larger than 70 of the world's independent nations. Its biggest glacier covers an area larger than the U.S. state of Rhode Island. Plenty of its mountain peaks have never been climbed. And that's even before you've started counting the bears, beavers, porcupines and moose. Kenai Fjords National Park Kenai Fjords National Park was created in 1980 to protect 587,000 acres of Alaska's most awesome, impenetrable wilderness. Crowning the park is the massive Harding Ice Field. From it, countless tidewater glaciers pour down, carving the coast into dizzying fjords. With such a landscape, and an abundance of marine wildlife, the park is a major tourist attraction. Unfortunately, it's also an expensive one. That is why Road Accessible Exit Glacier is its highlight attraction. Hardier souls can ascend to the Harding Ice Field from the same trailhead, but only experienced mountaineers equipped with skis, ice axes and crampons can investigate the 900 square miles of ice. The majority of visitors either take a quick trip to Exit Glacier's face or splurge on a tour boat cruise along the coast. For those who want to spend more time in the park, the coastal fjords are a blue water kayaker's dream. Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve Glacier Bay is the crown jewel of the cruise ship industry and a dreamy destination for anybody who has ever paddled a kayak. Seven tidewater glaciers spill out of the mountains and fill the sea with icebergs of all shapes, sizes and shades of blue, making Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve an icy wilderness renowned worldwide. Apart from its high concentration of tidewater glaciers, Glacier Bay is a dynamic habitat for humpback whales. Other wildlife seen at Glacier Bay includes porpoises, sea otters, brown and black bears, wolves, moose and mountain goats. The park is an expensive side trip, even by Alaskan standards. Plan on spending at least $400 for a trip from Juneau.
Of the 500,000 annual visitors, more than 95% arrive aboard a ship and never leave it. The rest are a mixture of tour group members, who head straight for the lodge, and backpackers, who gravitate toward the free campground. Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve standing in the middle of this park's 8 million acres of uninhabited mountains and tundra, you could be forgiven for assuming a woolly mammoth was about to cross your path. The landscape is simply that raw. Within Gates of the Arctic, Kobik Valley National Park and Notak National Preserve are dozens of rivers to run, miles of valleys and tundra slopes to hike and, of course, the gates, themselves, Mount Boreal and Frigid Crags, which flank the North Fork of the Koyukuk River. In 1929 Robert Marshall found an unobstructed path northward to the Arctic through these landmark peaks and his name for the passage has stuck ever since. Lake Clark National Park and Preserve Only 100 miles southwest of Anchorage, Lake Clark National Park and Preserve features spectacular scenery that is a composite of Alaska, an awesome array of tundra-covered hills, mountains, glaciers, coastline, the largest lakes in the state and two active volcanoes. The centerpiece of the park is spectacular Lake Clark, a 42-mile-long turquoise body of water ringed by mountains. The park is also where the Alaska Range merges into the Aleutian Range to form the Chigmet Mountains, and is home to two volcanoes, Mount Iliamna and Mount Redoubt. To reach the park, you will need to arrange with an Anchorage charter pilot for drop-off at the start of your adventure, around $490 round trip. Kobik Valley National Park The Great Alaskan Wilderness encompasses almost every ecosystem your imagination can devise, but admit it, you probably didn't think, sand dunes, when someone brought up the 49th state. But they're here in Kobik Valley National Park, some 20,500 acres of rolling sand, the largest collection of dunes in Arctic North America, a landscape so otherworldly it's been used by NASA as an analog for the environment on Mars. There's not just sand dunes at this park, located 25 miles above the Arctic Circle. You'll also find the watershed of the Kobik River, which runs through a dramatically beautiful valley in the shadow of the Baird Mountains. But you have to get here first, and that's the trick. There are no roads into this park, and no trails inside of it, Kobik is expensive to access, and visitors must possess a high level of wilderness savvy.